Hi, everyone. Welcome to Curated by Becta's Valentine's Day 2023 menu. Thanks very much for letting us be a part of a really special celebration at home. We have a beautiful menu for you tonight, and I can't wait to show it off. Um, some of my favorite things. So smoked Ruji Farm duck breast. Um, first of all, you don't need to preheat the oven. I think this is the first time that I can remember that we're not using an oven. We have a couple pots and pans, but that's okay. Let me make sure I put that on low. Um, so you want to get uh, your, I'm going to start with the main course and because the appetizer is actually very simple to do. Um, so we have our black bean demi glaze. Uh, I've got it in a pot on low and our sweet potato puree kind of on medium low warming up. And then we've got our duck breast. Cut it out of the vacuum packed bag. So the duck breast has already been cooked to rare. So we're basically just taking it to medium rare, warming it up and rendering some of the fat that, uh, that we haven't cut off and rendered already. So you want to season it with salt and pepper both sides. Very easy to do. So the thing, when we cook it, it also shrinks. So you may be thinking, hey, my duck's a little bit small. Don't worry, it is gonna be very filling. Uh, this evening. Every time we do this sous vide, whether it be a steak or a duck, you know, we always get a couple of comments like, hey, I'm, I'm a little worried about this. And then we get a note afterwards saying, hey, that was more than enough food. And it really is because it's probably lost 30% of its weight after we've done the sous vide cooking. So um, we want to get our pan to medium hot, medium high. Um, I use a cast iron pan. Please, if you don't have one, go out and buy one. It is like inexpensive and the greatest thing to have in your kitchen. And it's great for searing things. I'm going to turn on the hood fan just to make sure that we don't set off the smoke alarm, which I did on the last big night in kit. So um, the skin side you want to put down. So that's the ones with all the cross hatch. And we're going to put this in. No oil required because we're going to render out all the fat. And that's going to be great. Um, so the duck breast, we are going to cook for about five minutes until golden brown. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to reduce the heat to medium and we're going to cook for another two minutes. So seven minutes in total. Um, I've got my other pan warming up and uh, that's got my veg, but the total veg cooking time is about five minutes. So why don't I start looking ahead to the appetizer? So we've got these lovely citrus marinated prawns. So cut it out of the bag. So you want to drain the marinated stuff, but you don't need to pat it dry. So what I've done... You can do it any way you want. If you want to use a, um, a colander, you can do that. But I've just got the slotted spoon, and I'm going to just uh, just use it to get the stuff out while leaving most of the liquid in. So I need to warm this guy up. So it's on, like, super low. Like, on my induction oven, it's, like, 2 out of 10. You're basically just warming it up and, and getting the... Uh, getting the cold out of it. Um, so you don't really need to um, cook it because the, the cure, the citrus has already cured it and it's already cooked. Um, with that is this La Lot Pinot Grigio from Alto Adige in Northern Italy. Very bright citrus, ripe marzipan fruit. It's gonna be great with this dish. If you have something like this, by the way, like a pasta bowl, um, we call it an Amish hat. Um, it's wonderful because you can really build up the uh, different garnishes, which is which is key to make it look pretty. Um, okay, where do I go? The mushrooms are going to wait, all the stuff. I might even plate dessert while we're waiting for the duck to, to turn over because the duck needs to rest for five minutes before we do it. So dessert, make sure you bring everything to room temperature beforehand. I'm gonna put it on a plate tonight because I've used my Amish hats already with the appetizer. So we've got a strawberry and chocolate tart and we're gonna to top it with the white chocolate. Um, and this is done in a way, I don't know what the chefs do, but they make it really special where um, they take white chocolate and they make it into a powder. The joys of um, pastry chefs I, I'm not sure how they do this, but I know that it is tasty. And then the cocoa soil is gonna go on top. 
and try to keep it, if you're using a plate, try to keep it on the inside. So once you put that on, you can sort of brush it all into the inside so it looks really pretty. And the strawberry is inside. If you got strawberries at home and it's Valentine's Day and you want to garnish with a strawberry to make your partner happy, go for it. All right. There is our lovely chocolate and strawberry tart with the caramelized white chocolate and cocoa nib soil. My son is going to go bananas. My wife is actually out of town right now, and so she's missing us. Ah, okay. So our duck is a nice uh, golden brown on the outside. And we flip it over. We're going to reduce the heat to medium and cook it for two minutes longer. Because, again, we've already pre-cooked this to, to rare sous vide to make it super tender. So two minutes on there, and as soon as that's done, we're going to let it rest. I've got a baking sheet um, with a little cookie rack, and that's great because the air gets underneath. But you can use it just a plate, anything you anything you have, anything you uh, have handy. Um, okay, I think we're going to probably go on the appetizers now. So I've got my prawns. And again, it's okay if a little liquid gets in there, but you don't want too much of it. And you're just putting in a pan, a non-stick pan would be best. And you just really want to warm them up a little bit so that they're not cold. So we can dump this. And we'll flip them over in a little bit. Let's see how our duck is doing. I always overcook the duck, so I think we're probably close. What I do as well is I just sort of sear the outside for the sides. And you want to keep the duck fat in there because that is going to cook your maitake mushrooms. And that makes them really special. Maitake is the Chef Rich's favorite mushroom. Get a nice little cuisson on all the edges. And then we're going to rest it. Okay, so um, we can turn this back on, and but going to just like medium heat, and that's the mushrooms are going to go in there. But, the, but next up is our veg. So one tablespoon of neutral oil per person. So uh, in there, um, non-stick pan if you've got one, and then we're first going to. Do the turnips and the bok choy together. So there's sort of two large pieces of bok choy per person and a bunch of these Tokyo turnips, which are just delicious. If you have not had them before, you are in for a treat. And we're going to season with salt and pepper. All right. Now, while that's going on, we can take our maitake mushrooms and put it in there. And we can season it, but don't forget, you've got some salt and pepper there left over from the duck. So probably less than you do on your other veg. Lovely. And get some butter ready. You need two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And we're just going to give us a little toss. I'm going to turn that up just a little bit, and I don't need the hood fan anymore, um, but I do need some non-stick tongs in order to flip these prawns over, and again, they are already cooked because of the citrus. You are literally just warming them up a little bit, because nobody likes dead cold shrimp. I'm not even just going to turn uh, that element off. By the way, I got this for Christmas time, this red Paderno induction non-stick frying pan. I'm a huge fan. Paderno was bought out by Canadian Tire, so that's where all of the Paderno stuff is. And it's really great. It takes a beating, and it looks beautiful, and I don't know. Let's, let's go. Okay, so while this is happening, we're going to make sure to stir the sweet potato puree. And our black bean demi-glaze jus. And the mushrooms. 
Nonstick pans, the only downside to them is you can't really clip things in them very well. So I'm just going to move the mushrooms around with tongs. And you want to get the duck fat in there. Make sure it gets nice and coated. Okay, I think it's time for appetizers. So we've got five prawns per person. So spread them around your amishat or your pasta bowls. And I think for some of you, you're finishing this up at Mont Saint Marie, which is really cool. Um, yeah, we're very excited to be able to be delivering there again on Saturdays. A little paper towel to clean up our sides. That's good. Mushrooms. Put some duck fat in there. Okay, now we've got lots of different ingredients for uh, the prawns. First is we've got these radishes. Spread them around. Make sure that you can still see the prawns. They may have put more radish than we need. That's why I do these videos is to adjust the quantities. Um, one thing I'm really excited about is the red wine with the duck. I found this and I don't know, we, we struck a deal with the winery to get an amazing price on it. It's, it's retailing at $40 a bottle and we were able to include it in the case. And I, I just, I love it. So first of all, any red wine from Niagara in 2020 is going to be incredible. Well, unless it's poorly made, but, um, the stuff I've tried so far is just blow your mind. This is a once in a generation vintage. So if you like Niagara Reds, um, make sure to go out and get yourself some because they are stunning. All right, so the bok choy and the turnips are looking good. I'm gonna add our unsalted butter. Keep stirring our mushrooms around a little bit. Break this up so that I can get the duck fat right in there. Give things a stir. Very nice. Okay, so I've got our cucumber and our radishes. And then we've got our koji buttermilk dressing. And that's going to go in here. You don't want too much. You want to be able to see everything. And then we've got the toasted almonds. I'm gonna to talk to the chefs and see if they can um, have bigger chunks. So I don't think you want this almond dust in there. The texture might not be perfect. So I'm gonna see about going on some bigger chunks, but it has a really nice crunch to it. And then we've got the dill. Okay, I'm gonna turn that guy off because it's basically done. And then we've got our lobster oil. This is probably the most refined appetizer we've ever done I curated by Becta. And I know you're in for a treat. So make sure you get a paper towel and dust off your pasta bowls so that it looks something like this. That's going to be incredible. Okay, let's get things ready and get rid of all of this stuff. Get rid of the almond dust because we need to cut the duck. I love the dessert is already out of the way. Oh yeah, I was gonna go back and taste the 2027 Cabernet Franc King Street Vineyard. Wow, I just, I love this wine. I am enamored with it. And I hope you love it too.
Okay, so I'm going to turn off the mushrooms, turn them over a little bit more. Make sure they're all duck fatted up. Um, so I think we can probably slice the duck. It's rested for five minutes. It's easier to slice it with the fat side down. And you want to cut it along the short side. And the chef says one centimeter per person, or per slice, sorry. So you're going to get probably eight or nine slices out of this, depending on how thin you are able to cut it. And one little trick chef told me, take the last piece, flip it over so that you see it. And you want to do the fat side up because it looks really great. All right, flip that over. You want to fan it out. And this is when you hit it with a little more salt so that it gets in the middle of the crevice. Okay, so sweet potato puree goes down first. I'm doing coupe bowls tonight, but you can do plates. I like the coupe bowls myself because they're beautiful and white and clean, and you want to sort of drag this across. And the brightness is just so lovely. Ah, yes, in my nonstick tongs again with my new pan. So you should have about four portions of or three, three to four portions, depending on how big the bok choy is, per person, halves, and then the Tokyo turnips in there. My wife is out tonight, so it's just my son and I, and I know he's gonna enjoy this very much. And why not include some of the butter in there? My tacky mushrooms next, cast iron pan. It will burn my hands, so let's do this. Separate them out evenly. See if you can show it off. Okay, we'll turn that off. Give the sauce a stir so it doesn't get the little skin on top. Our lovely duck. Whew. That is one good looking thing and we still have the sauce to go. I'll grab a big soup spoon. So I'm gonna do some on top of the duck and some around the plate. This is one of the most beautiful dishes we have ever done at Curate of Abacta. Whew. How do you like them apples? Smoked Rougie Farm duck breast with the maitake mushrooms with the duck fat, uh, roasted Tokyo turnips and uh, bok choy and of course, our sweet potato puree. Thanks for letting us be a part of really great celebrations at home. It means the world to us when you order and, uh, and we just know that you're enjoying these things at home. So enjoy your dinner and thanks for everything. We hope to cook and curate for you again very soon.